Dog Nation's Next Generation Series is brought to you by Pella Window and Door of Georgia. Pella, any style, any home, any budget. Visit PellaofGA.com to get started. Welcome back, Dog Nation. I'm Kaylee Mansell with Jeff Sintel, and we are excited to continue bringing you all the information you need to know on the next generation of UGA athletes. This time, we will be covering five-star linebacker Raylan Wilson out of Tallahassee, Florida. Initially, a Michigan commit, UGA and came and swept him from underneath that big blue rug. And let me tell you, on paper, he's got all the qualities you want out of a football player. But Jeff, what is it about Raylan that makes him and his gameplay so unique? Well, you know, you, you talk to all the talking heads, everybody at the major recruiting services, and they say, you know, I think Raylan Wilson might be the guy that plays the earliest or that wow guy in the class. And there's a lot of reasons why. I mean, get this, folks. You don't see this a lot. This is a linebacker, about 6'1", 220 pounds. He was running track. Always love it, young fellas out there. If you want to run track, that's your fast ride to a major college football. But he was running a 10 9 1 in the 100 meters. And, you know, I think Nick Chubb ran a 10-7 when he was in high school, maybe 10-8. Miko um, Harmon ran a 10-6, 10-6-7. So that shows you how fast this young man is at linebacker. You really like the explosive ability. He's a true inside-the-box linebacker. Kayla, he returned kicks for his high school team. When you see linebacker returning kickoffs, you know this is a different kind of dude, a different kind of animal. The ranking services finally warmed up to him and made him a five-star really late. but. We got a lot of stuff to talk about Raylan Wilson, and I don't want to give it away on the first question. Now, I know that Raylan has NFL flowing through his veins, so how much does family play a part here? So you look at it, first of all, we've got to give a, you know, lots of respect to his father, the late Robert Wilson. He was an NFL wide receiver for the New Orleans Saints, and he passed away when his children were very young. And he did it right because all of these, all these siblings, you know, Raylan's going to Georgia. There's another one that was a track star at Ohio State. There's D1 athletes all up and down. And one of the things he left his children with, and this is what Raylan has told me means so much to him, is his dad says, I'm going to give you the recipe on how to be great, but you got to stay in that kitchen. And that's why Raylan Wilson runs track. And that's why he tries to clock a 10 9 1. And that's why he cares about what his weight looks like. You know, this is a young man that just seems wired for Georgia. Georgia's got so many inside linebackers. They're, they're returning Jamon Dumas Johnson, Shmael Munden, Jalen Walker is fantastic. EJ Lights, who showed me a lot last season. But Raylan is a guy that I think can come in, get some second and third team reps, steal them and earn them, and also play a whole lot on special teams with that insane athleticism. But this is a guy, like I saw him all week at the Under Armour All-American game, and he was going through the motion when they were in shorts and helmets. But when you gave him a football game and you patted him up and you let him strike somebody, it seemed like he was just empowered. That was really what he's about. He's a football player, and I love seeing him switch gears. And he already looked like the best run chase hit linebacker when they were in shorts, but he found two more clicks to his game when the pads came out. Now, as you mentioned, you did get the chance to see him at the Under Armour All-American mm -hmm. game. I know you've got the chance to see him multiple times. What is the feeling that you get when you're around him, Jeff? really wants to be great, really wants to honor his father's memory. It means something that he's coming to Georgia. I mean, he was committed to Michigan, and his two finalists last December, in December of 2021, was Michigan and Georgia. Michigan won that one, but, you know, had tip to Coach, Coach Glenn Schumann at Georgia. Never let up, kept recruiting him. He figured out that Georgia was the place to be and eventually decommitted and then flipped to Georgia over the summer. And you know what I love about him? I was down in Moultrie after a game. And a Georgia van walked up to him and he said, son, you're going to be great. You're going to tear it up. I mean, this is a South Georgia, Colquitt County, 65, 75 years. Might have been a peanut farmer. I don't know. But he was like, the coolest thing for Raylan was somebody knew his name and that they cared about what he was going to do for the Georgia Bulldogs. The fans are going to love him. I love what he looks like on tape. A truly a next generation type linebacker in Athens. As you mentioned, in just a few short months, everyone will know his name around Athens and the UGA campus. And we're so excited we could bring you a little bit of insight on Raylan Wilson. We're ecstatic to see what he can do. Make sure to tune in next week for more on the next generation of talent coming to Athens. 
I'm Brian with Pella Window and Door of Georgia. I want to take some time today to share with you a little bit about how we can help you with your local project. You may be interested to know that Pella is the number one rated brand among homeowners for innovation. That's important here with our Georgia Heat because we offer windows and doors that can help improve your energy efficiency by up to 79%. So if you'd like to learn more about that, come visit one of our local showrooms, check us out on our website, or just give us a call and we can set up an appointment.